I just want to make this video so I can remember, you know, back in those days, this room has allowed me to grow a lot as a person. And this room is where I grew my YouTube channel. So morning guys. Oh God, my hair is very messy. Maybe just wear a cap. So I just woke up this morning and I thought I would, it would be great to shoot this video. And this is like my... I really want to make this video so badly because I want to show you guys my room in Hong Kong. And since I'm shifting to a new place uh, somewhere near in uh, Cheong Sa Wan. And firstly I was trying to rent a bigger room that cost me around 7,000 or 8,000 Hong Kong dollars per month. And recently, my current housemate, you know, just suggested that we should co-rent a, a bigger unit. So we found a unit that costs us around ten thousand Hong Kong dollars. So we split evenly. Sorry, I don't think I can speak, uh, pronounce word correctly. I'm wearing my braces right now. So it's ten thousand. So each of us has to pay five thousand Hong Kong dollars. So it's a good bargain. So this room is very small. And if you put in a queen size or king size bed, you literally cannot walk in this room. It's so small, you can't even open the damn door. So just don't get shocked to see how messy my room and how small my room is. So you can see at the back, this is where I hang my clothes, my underwear and stuff. And so pardon me, my room is very messy, especially my bed. I still have to make my bed. So this is like... A single size bed that is actually attached to the wall. It doesn't look that bad, you know. And this is where I, where I have my candle. And you can see this is very, very small indeed. And what I like about this part, this is where I put all my stuff my clothes, my hangers, my boxes over here. And this is where I need to improvise a bit, you know, pull out the hanger where I can hang my clothes over here and some box over there this is one of my tagline it's possible that you can have your dream so i think that i've moved quite a lot of stuff so maybe just a few trips i will be able to shift everything to the new home so this unit has four rooms and i'm staying in one of the room and there's a room beside at the back and you can notice that this background, I think you guys should be familiar with it because most of my videos are shooting in that background. And I really like this white wall here. It's actually a wooden wall. My housemate is living next to this wall and it's just pathetic sometimes I have to wake him to go out so I can shoot my videos with peace. You know, have a better acoustic with lesser noise. And when someone is using the laundry, the washing machines, and it gets very, very noisy, I still have to wait the washing machine to finish done washing, then I can start to shoot videos. And there's lots of noise nearby. It's just, it's just very hard to shoot videos sometimes and just very pathetic. And normally I was just, you know, sit, uh, sit on the bed to shoot videos and it's just not a very comfortable studio to be honest you know i'm i'm a part-time online instructor i have a couple of courses in udemy and in this room i have created over four online courses in udemy i have produced over 200 online tutorials screencast videos in this room you can just imagine how much sacrifice i need to make you know how much time they have made to do these videos including the fact that i need to wait for my housemate to go out you know to make sure it's very quiet in this room so i can record the videos especially right now so the time right now is around 7 a.m so it's pretty quiet and this is the time that i shoot my videos so i literally cannot do it during daytime especially in the afternoon because there will be lots of noise coming from the outside so talking about this, uh, this unit, it has a uh, public use kitchen and bathroom, only one bathroom for four person. You know, the bathroom is small, but you know, for me, it's okay. For the kitchens, I usually don't cook because it's, it's quite small. And when I see such a small kitchen, I just don't have the mood to, to cook. And there's another two rooms at there. And during this COVID-19, you know, epidemic spread of the virus, 
I seen some of the uh, people coming in to stay in one of those rooms. It just bothers me a lot because I'm not sure where they come from, who are they. Last two weeks there was a mainland student, I'm not sure he's a student, he came in and stayed next to the room. Yeah, I'm not sure whether they could, you know, about the virus thing, it just freak me out sometimes. And I think it's a good time to shift to a new place so I can live more comfortably and better security in a sense and also a better place for my work studio especially shooting videos and doing online courses recording you know I'm a bit sad and happy at the same time to leave this place to leave this tiny room and this is the main reason why I want to shoot this video because I think this might be the last video of me shooting in this room I just want to make this video so I can remember, you know, back in those days, this room has allowed me to grow a lot as a person. And this room is where I grew my YouTube channel. My first ever video done is in this room. It's about speak English in Hong Kong accent. You can, you can just imagine that this room is small, but my creativity is just way beyond that. Don't let those flaws, you know, limitations, scare supplies, to limit your capability don't let them control you you have to go out of the box extend your creativity so that's all about it so in the next couple of videos coming out on youtube might not be shoot in this room you probably can see my brand new background you know i'm going to miss this white background a lot because my new room doesn't have a white background it's a little bit yellowish color but i think it will work pretty fine all right so I need to get some breakfast and probably later on going to move some of the stuff to the brand new home. So I'll see you guys then.